based on MK Ultra memory, uh, this Mercedes, uh, from what I recall, and I gotta be careful not to take the license plate, but this is the model, yeah. Uh, this belongs to a relative, maybe even a brother from some lady here that lives here uh, and he comes to stay sometimes with her for a little longer what is this says right there let me see that these people were actually very much involved in this stuff uh, there is more to this stuff you know their license registration is here from novel master but Oh, nice okay we well, we're gonna take this one down but the thing is that this is supposed to be actually from the original owner or something like this and it says not really original owner this fucking van is the van my god this is the fucking van they did use this van this is not a joke this is the real thing uh, it says here Nigrat Maribor TV Controlni Sistemi Vamna Oslugo in the Kuna Prey. I was like, Rausch TV Control Sisteme. Aha, aha. This is, this is the real, this is the real van. Fuck. I was gonna say that this van was purchased. This van was. Before he purchased this van, this van was owned by two companies. First, it was owned by one company. Uh, this van, uh, first of all, first, this van, I think, was imported from the Germany. Uh, second, uh, the van was owned probably by the Maribor company, whatever it was. Then it was resold to somebody from Ljubljana, something like this, I don't know what. And this could be exactly the man who purchased this van. Uh, and this man, uh, I, I don't know what the story was, that he had a sister here, la la la, and this and that, and he would come for a visit, uh, but eventually they moved down here or something like this. So that uh, basically took his sister. I gotta think about this shit. This was actually much more than what I anticipated. Wow. Uh, that stuff, this Rausch and this and that. No, this is just something that was uh, glued onto the uh, van recently. Just to remind me, they, they told me just to remind you something like this. Uh, but the originally this van was imported from the Germany and it was purchased by some company in Maribor and then uh, it was a long time in possession of this company in Maribor so I, I am fuck I'm thinking about how the hell did they use the van to transport me if so that's exactly what it was. The first company was from Maribor. That's exactly the company that I read. And this is the company that borrowed the van. And that's how they got the van cheaper from the Germany. This van is, was this van was literally imported from the Germany. This is a literally was connection with Angela Merkel is the stuff with the British Royals, not only Angela Merkel, because I insisted that the only van I'd be transported with, or car, whatever it would be, <laughs> it would be Mercedes. <laughs> Nothing other than Mercedes. Uh, and this is what the hell this shit was. Uh, somebody eventually became interested uh, <laughs> in doing the business with this stuff. It, it was a company from the Maribor. They sold this van this company from Maribor, 
uh, I think they sold this van like in 2002, I think. Uh, and in 2002, I think it was over with it. And it was some company from Ljubljana, whatever it was, something like this they purchased, which could well be got to do with this guy. I will video record this stuff again. For whatever reason, I will stop from completing this file. It's kind of scary to even look back. Uh, check what you get out of it once you start to video record, but here is the deal. This is going to be used. This video right here I'm about to demonstrate to you is a physical proof of abductions, police abductions to Italy beginning 1992 to the northern Italian capital known as Milano. Or Italians say Milan. This is the city, big city. Many countries would call one as a capital, located in the northern part of Italy. It's not a real capital. Uh, the real capital is in Rome, but this is on south, actually in the middle of the Italy. Uh, however, for me, this was the main destination, the father of all destinations concerning my case. Beginning the 1992, the politicians who should be opposition to Milan Kuchan, now you see right there, that's a Loise Petale. Now you see right there, this is Igor Boucher. He was a police officer during the Yugoslavia. Now you see an Udba individual. His name is Jan Zansha. Therefore, the opposition to Milan Kuchan, what should be opposition to Milan Kuchan, did not know how to apologize genocide against me, which this individual have enforced on behalf of Josip Bros Tito since my childhood, since my super early childhood. What Federal Republic of Yugoslavia commenced, one of the republics within was also Slovenia, others was Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, Macedonia. The newly funded Slovenian government, which I demonstrated you, did not know how to apologize, rationalize demands of the UNA, that is a Yugoslav National Army, military governed by the Serbs in what used to be known as Yugoslavia, demands on how the genocide during departure, during departure of these troops from Slovenia, did not know how to demand genocide to remain existent. The people whom I have demonstrated you suggested the end of this practice against me, the end of MK Ultra, the end of the genocide. However, Yugoslav National Army demanded continuation, and before you even know, 
they had in the game this individual here. His name is Milan Kurjan and Borut Pahor. Very important for me to make sure I am video recording this stuff still. These are individuals, people who came to rescue immediately to the Yugoslav National Army, to the to the Greater Serbian Chetnik State Army, which was an occupier in Slovenia, Bosnia, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, and so on and so forth. People whom I have demonstrated you earlier as an opposition of what you see here should never be elected as any representatives of Slovenia. These are, this, is, this individual is a Udba individual. This, was, this is his, literally his license to kill during Udba. These are really Udba people. This is a Udba individual here who became a leader of so-called Slovenian independence. Another individual involved in this was individual that you see here. in negotiations in respect to end of MK Ultra torture, genocide, not torture, was this individual here. This individual was a police officer there in Yugoslavia and practically a neighbor where I used to live in the city of the Novo Mesto, practically a neighbor. Another individual was this individual here. They did not know what to do. They did not know what, how to apologize. A continuation of what Serbia practically started at my age six months. These were supposedly a new leaders of the new country of independence, freedom. I'm not gonna say instead of granting me the right to exist, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to use these words, freedom. These people should be recognizing my contribution to Slovenian independence and existence through the war I had in Moscow and Belgrade since my childhood. Instead of that, they came together with Milan Kuchan, with Borut Pahor, with Vladimir Putin, with the Slobodan Milosevic, with the Serbs, with the Russians, to agreement on how they are going to, in fact, apologize, rationalize continuation of genocide against me as Josip Bros Tito. Envisioned. The plan was this year the route from the city of the Novo Mesto all the way to Milano, Italy, using uh, vehicles that were orange, orange colored vehicles. And it was not only Mercedes you are about to see, but then it was also Renault, and, and there was another one, Opel also. Giving me a title of completely insane clown portraying me to the public in Italy as crazy as possible through the torture in Slovenia and then through Italy, causing all kinds of problems, irregularities, to obtain statements from me on uh, my no longer seeing myself in Slovenia. This did not go well for them, but the torture went on and on and on and on. It's what started in 1992. The last time Italian government had me in their hands was in 2020. These people did manage to obtain statement. Thank you from me for resolving four military, five maybe even, five installations probably which were like impossible to, to survive, uh, where I would be tortured in Slovenia, 
However, it was a very easy thing to do. While other dots, other torture locations remained, the military installations, such as two in Atzelia city, one in Novo Mesto, where I am from, and another one in Chernobyl, in Bela Kraina, were resolved. For that matter, these people demanded credit, thank you, from me to them. They got thank you, but the genocide continued to go on with Serbs and Russians completely in charge of one, leading the way, using literally Italians and others to obtain from me anti-Slovenian statements over the course of time. There were none, if there were any, none which would suggest that I would want here Italy, Austria, Germany, or something like this. Now, this is what these people give the condition to the West. Now, Milan Kurchan gave them condition this must be, and that together they invented the way on how they would apologize this kind of stuff. And so the way they apologize this kind of stuff was exactly through the post which I have demonstrated you here today on October the 31st, 2023, I published. I am accusing government of the United States of America to have engaged in a terrorism sabotage of international laws treaties pertaining to International Criminal Court, European Union Court of Human Rights, United Nations, etc., etc., which gave me, as a citizen of the United States and Slovenia, denial of the right to file for most basic protection violations of human rights for the benefit of neighboring country Italy and to promote terrorism on the international stage as to the one we witness is taking place today right now in Gaza as well as from the side of Yemen. Houthi, uh, Yemenis Houthis fired also projectiles on Israel through what was already prior agreed right through the Egypt where they were shut down. What exactly were Americans doing next to what I stated here was to provide the criminal alibi for the illegitimate Slovenian government newly elected in a newly in a newly funded Slovenian state which came to life in 1991 Americans uh, used me to advertise like a Judah on a stage, on a world stage, to the terrorists. They example me to the terrorists and have gestured to the terrorists, to all kinds of fractions, not even necessary to terrorists, but impoverished people in whatever part of the world, that the way to get the freedom was to do something illegal, criminal from their soil, uh, commit act of war basically on a neighboring country. And that's how you have this issue with the Houthis, and that's how you have this issue with the Gaza and so on. American government, Israelis also would literally use me in media to example me to this fraction, so it would be like the best of their interests to do exactly what I do. Or I should say what I have done. And they have interpreted everything they brainwashed me inside of the U.S. government, inside of the U.S. Congress, senators, Congress people, obtained numerous statements from me on how I agree to Italian, to the future Italian occupation of Slovenia, on how it's in my best interest. They use people like the guy you see here, this. Did you know the money you spend destroys the He's environment? Actually called Let this me explain. Even a fiat fire. Existing prejudices and century. He is not the only one. There was many others U.S. government have used. They have used numerous. Italian Matt Johnson.
excuse me, Mike Johnson. was involved in this case for at least probably, maybe probably even for 30 years, this guy was involved in this case. How much exactly do I know him? I know him very, very well. When I should do my career, my job, it's this guy used me for his interests. I have to be very, very speak, uh, careful with this individual calling one Italian fascist. I have to be very, very cautious with this. Why? Because this is a very, very, it says for hardcore Italians. It's a very, very questionable who this guy actually is. It's very, very questionable from whom, who is picking up paychecks inside of the U.S. government. But it's claimed the guy is Italian. He presented himself as Italian with Nordic, British, whatever name, Johnson, who went on, as he claimed, to even adopt a black child to obtain support for my case. Italians, already through the Mike Tyson, suggested, ongoingly suggested, to resolve my case, affiliation with my case with occupation of Slovenia, with the fascist occupation of Slovenia, affiliation with uh, black people, and did manage to affiliate themselves with a lot of black people along the years use them to pressure on me for me to see myself in my best interest, including Barack Obama, to collaborate, cooperate with Italy. Next to Rome, Italian Rome, capital of Italy, next to Milano, the US Congress was probably the most corrupt location where I would be repeatedly told and even threatened on cooperation on a future cooperation with Italy for the sake of new Italian occupation of Slovenia. I don't know how much this issue expands to Italy and to the Austria, but Austrians, what appeared to be Austrians and Germans also insisted me in my best interest to collaborate with Italians. This betrayal extended all the way to the Absalon issue, which commenced at my early child stage, when delivered to the Copenhagen, Denmark. Since what father, father would revent to me, refer to me as, uh, with a name, he gave me a nickname, Absalon. Well, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway were the major sponsors of American Israeli terrorism, which I have indicated right here under this post. Cluster fucked my life in the United States of America, turned my life into hell, into living hell, through collaboration with the Milan Kuchan, with Janez Jansha, with Igor Boucher, with other Slovenian politicians inside of the Slovenia. Live in hell, concentration camp on open, whatever that would be, whether that be also in Scandinavia where I traveled or Germany so they could apologize, rationalize, and even use me as a promotion for a terrorism on foreign soils, for the operations of Israel, United States of America, Western politics, and so on. United States of America and its allies, Western allies, have also done their best 
cl to cluster fuck mentioned institutions which are concerning human rights violations, the right of the individual to file for the human rights violations. One of the main people in charge for this crime against me happens just so to be was Joe Biden. The number one promoter of this crime against me, however, were the British royals. Enjoy the video. I am going to burn this video for you. This is going to be used as a document, support document for the genocide against me. Uh, this is exactly the van, one of the vans that was used to transfer me to Italy. I'm going to involve this in a video. It's crazy orange van. And they were using this kind of stuff to drive people insane through the Italy, dividing all kinds of issues, dividing the society. Uh, was suggesting me that Italy basically is the only place for me to run to, my only hope, uh, obtaining statements from me to at least agree on Italian occupation of Slovenia. So that who did this stuff here? This was a novel master police, novel master police investigators who are straight under Ljubljana Protectorat Parliament, the people that I stated have to enforce this kind of criminal procedure against me. Uh, Central Intelligence Agency was the one beginning in 1995 upon my departure to the United States of America, where I stayed for 11 and a half years. Till August of 2006, I would not return to Slovenia anymore, continue to enforce this policy through the extraordinary abductions, reditions, straight from the apartment where I used to live and other locations. to get exactly this kind of game going. That's all I want to say. This was all in agreement with the Vladimir Putin. This was all in agreement with the politicians from Slovenia and the Western politicians. Um, just before I finish this, just before I finish this, I am going to do one more thing. It's probably interesting because I am published in news. There's going to be one more that's coming back with the video. There's going to be one more thing I'm going to tell you. In Renault company, a local Renault company, French assisted Vladimir Putin bless best to their abilities by luring locals of the Novomesto into statements which Slovenian police government could use to destroy them, suggested them that it would be best for Novomest, for Dolenska, for this part of Slovenia to be again occupied by Italians. They did, uh, French government committed so many crimes in this region that whether they liked it or not, we'll have to close the factory Renault. It's about 5,000 jobs used to be there. Systematically, they started to close one down and will be replaced with cooperator of Renault from China. It will be still a Renault. There will be parts we use to supply a Renault with vehicles, parts from the company with whom a Renault have a partnership from China. So what started basically at my birth date, practically year two, I'm not even sure. will now close down. We're going to see after how many years. There you go. I was born in 1971. In 1972, the French committed to have a factory here through this MKUltra case. We could say after 50 years, 51 almost years of collaboration with the French, Slovenian, Renault, therefore, Industria Motorni Vuzil Novo Mesto, EMV, will close 
production of Renault. Huh? Is this interesting to you? And we'll go out. French were the one at large who also demanded from me obtain or not obtain when you are drugged up with knife under the throat doesn't really matter. If you're drugged up and you get statements from an, from anybody, anybody gets the statements from you when you're drugged up, those statements are worth shit. The genocide against me, Slovenian state have enforced for no less than 51 years. And it did not stop with Slovenian independence, but it continued with a newly elected Slovenian leaders, such as I stated was Janusz Janša, Igor Baucar, Loise Peterle, and many others who claim that at least the military installations they are not going to be exposed anymore to torture, but they continued to enforce their own torture procedures against me together with the people from Milan Kuchin. They used their own people to rationalize genocide in a newly independent Slovenian state. That's basically, there you have it. So you jammed me at international court after you committed yourself to genocide which Vladimir Putin, you negotiated with Russia, with the Serbia, with the Slovenia. You got the statements, whatever you wanted, whatever kind of proof you wanted. And basically, this is how it goes. What Josip Broz uh, demanded, envisioned at my age six months, was in a good portion realized, but for what of a price? met the girl the other day here and uh, she asked me hello uh, do we know each other what well, we do actually the car right there as you can be seeing anything and that's the way it should be the building right here in front of me uh, she lives right on the top that's a white Citroen right on the top and there is like one two three and I think there is another one right on the top, something like this. Maybe it's this one. Maybe that's the third one. But she's on the top, and she is on the left side, right on the top. And uh, her mom is a realtor. Uh, actually, not a realtor, but she lives in the city. And this apartment, at least, was from her. The possibility, however, exists that the whole building even is from her. And I think she does have a sister, too. Second thing is about the van. This van drink my nerves completely. Uh, this van, <clears throat> this is a long story about this van. The first company that owned this van was from Maribor. They got the money, they got, I think, the vehicles imported from the Germany, whatever the case might have been. This was the original van. They claimed they have another van they substituted. Maybe they would even say that this is the van which substituted the original van. It doesn't really matter. These are the people that were involved in MK Ultra, at least since 1995. But I would even go as far as 1992, 1993. The original company who owned this van was from Maribor. And the director of the company was yelling at me, screaming and stuff, claiming he, me eventually that I destroyed him van and this and that. Uh, let's slow down a little bit. Uh, the private company from Maribor city, that's on the other side of Slovenia. It's quite far from here. I would definitely not know the stuff I'm talking about. Uh, that means the company borrowed or at least provided transport to Italy for the Slovenian police. That's a private company right there. Uh, not right there. It used to be. It used to be sometimes until 2002 uh, when they, I think, even closed down the company. 
And again, director of the company yelled at me that I was the one who fucking the company up. 2001 or 2002. Uh, that he was receiving phone calls literally from the Italy that the people from Italy that started to trace him all the way to Maribor and they were making threats and stuff like that. And what the fuck I had to do with this other than being drugged up, thrown inside a van with the police, probably also with what was private company, uh, not owners, but drivers who would commute us to Milano, and to other parts of the Italy and so on. Uh, and also that from Austria, because it was also in Austria and so on, in Bavaria, this went all the way to Bavaria and so on. So this is, this is the story about this company, not only about this van. Uh, the second thing about this van, this here, this entire place here was in a war with me because under MK Ultra, <laughs> the, supposedly the only thing that I liked were a blonde ladies. And this is not true, but good-looking ladies is all. I, I still like good-looking ladies. I can't help myself. Uh, I was the least discriminatory man in the world, that's for sure, when it comes to ladies. Uh, and here's the thing. Uh, this man who purchased this van afterwards, and I think that he worked for the company in Ljubljana, or it was his company, but I think that he worked for that company. Uh, he had a sister here, and I think the sister was probably in the apartment, one apartment, something like this, and that sister was blonde from this guy who owns this now, this van. And I like that sister so much. But the sad story is that she had no children, and... Even the family became, I was told, isolated and hated for her being blonde. Uh, her brother is the one who probably inherited. They moved once she got older here. I'm afraid that she's probably not even alive anymore. Uh, and uh, settled here in the city of the Novel Mesto with his family. He settled in the city of the Novel Mesto. I would say probably, you know when? Mm, I would go probably as far as... 2013, 2012, I would say, yeah. So he moved from probably even what was Ljubljana to settle here. Uh, I think he, she had an apartment here in this building, but originally they are from here, something like this. My, I'm not sure. I was thinking that these people would at least have house here because, uh, but this is something I, I have to meet him and talk to him a little bit in private. But uh, they have one of, I think, she had an apartment building. Uh, I'm thinking about something else here, meaning that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop here, basically. I think that this is a pretty decent account. Uh, I was going to say that it could be another apartment unit that belonged to him or something. Who the hell knows? Uh, but I'm thinking also about there is a little house behind there, down, that that was it. I'm, to be honest, I'm not completely sure. I have to think about it. But this is the thing. This is the story about the original van owner. If I would get to see one, I probably would recall more because he had me in Ljubljana or wherever he's from. Uh, I don't know. Direction of Ljubljana, Grosupli or whatever it is and I would then know more about what went on. But now I know the whole history about car transport to, uh, to, to the Neverland. Uh, another thing about the girl I have spoken about with that white Citroën and in that building, her mother lives in the city. Uh, so this probably is the owner of entire building, a daughter of owner of entire building. This is what it is. You, that's exactly what it is. She was, she, the mom, I remember the mom now. Uh, that's a strange case of, I think, blonde mother.
Uh, this is a strange case of the blonde mother. The battery is dying on me. Uh, that made a good looking brown eyed girl. But the mother is, she has a university degree. Uh, and I, uh, that was the stuff also interesting. Um, something to think about. Thank <laughs> you.